エピソード7、ムーンライズ。割と Oh, this is their first connection in a while. <laughs> He's just shocked. It's alright, it's alright. This is practice technically. All that matters is tournament play. Everything else is just learning. But he... He sees what's going on. Yeah, he figured it out. He understands. It's alright. Now the shoe's on the other foot. It's that fateful day when they fought in the gym. Point's a point. So much... Vulnerability. <laughs> it's a weird position for Kagama. Having always been just amazing at everything. Time for the jump serve. Oh. Okay. It's fine, they're all in the same boat. Yeah, Coach knows. He's got the big picture view. And I think they're gonna figure that out about each other. They're gonna say, yeah, Coach knows. He understands. He's always seen it. <laughs> they're just a mess. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It still feels good. It still feels positive. They're getting worse, but it, it's part of their improvement. <laughs> it's just all over the place. <laughs> Whoops. See, this is gonna separate people who know. And those who don't. People will not realize. Yeah, like Coach! He's a real one. He gets it. Okai knows too. Tsuki? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. It's gonna have to come up eventually, but he's sure taking his time. Refreshing sprint. That is just blatant false advertising. Are you refreshed yet? <laughs> ah, <laughs> the cool refreshing feeling of an uphill sprint under the hot sun. I'm getting a little bit of anxiety though and panic about the little time that's left between now and the tournament. There's so much to do. Refreshing, like a sprint up a hill. They blew him off last time too, kind of. We're all wondering. We're all wondering now. Yeah, I mean, I don't totally disagree, but I feel like there's something to explore character-wise underneath that. A little bit of emotional distance, self-preservation. Appealing to his pride, ego. Yeah, I feel like there is a fire inside Suki waiting to come out. When? Yeah, the time pressure is real. Brave of you to participate after what happened last time. She's on eggshells. No one can doubt her commitment to the team. Man, he's getting rocked. 
Left's dead. Taking a death break. He also possesses the skill of seeing things in slow motion. Now that I helped him. Why was he dead? Block. There it is. It's coming out. Get mad. That's not good. Hinata and I are different. Ah! Another At what point do we get concerned about life? Yeah, he didn't show it, but touched the nerve. Yeah, he didn't show it, but Oh, time to walk in on a key conversation. I, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about Suki, I can't quite figure it out. On the one hand, I think it would be fine if he wasn't as dedicated as the other players. I mean, yeah, it'd be great, it'd be nice. And I think the team kind of owes or deserves someone who will match their level of intensity. That being said, outside of the fact that this is a show about volleyball, he's a human being, he's a high school student, he genuinely might just not feel the same way they do. And I'm inclined to think that that's okay. As long as he still gives it his all to a healthy extent that doesn't create a weak link for the team. Not only because it would suck for them, but it would suck for him. You know, you don't want to be the weakest link. You don't want to be the reason why things failed, especially when everyone's giving it their all and sacrificing an ungodly, inhuman amount towards this dream. Or is it that he's doing this to give himself some distance, some plausible deniability because he's scared of what it would take to do what he actually wants to do, which is to be great. There's this incentive to give it a half effort because then when you fail and you might expect yourself to fail, you can kind of ego preserve a little bit by saying, well, I never really gave it my all in the first place. And a lot of times that's an unconscious process, but that is not great. And I think even if it is an unconscious process, it comes out and you'll feel it very potently in loss. If he goes to the tournament and they're playing their heart out and they lose and he feels like he contributed to that loss, it'll all come rushing in that he could have done more, could have tried a little bit harder, could have spent a little more time, put in a little more effort, and that weakness, that running away will be exposed. Oh, he just came back to see everyone giving it their all. Oh, here it is. There's something there. Okay, yeah, it is an emotional thing. It's not just normal disinterest. He's afraid. <laughs> it always is amazing to me, and I can feel it's realistic and honest, that they're all so terrified of Daichi despite the fact that he's just so nice, because of that silent power he has. <laughs> ah yes, time for some more refreshing hill sprints. Easily impressed, I see. お宅の眼鏡くんの機嫌損ねちゃったかもしんない。え?あの月島が成り行くとはいえ、自主練に付き合ったのか。で、何か言ったの?お宅の地味ちゃんに負けちゃうよって挑発を。In other words, don't take the lead, just maintain. How do you really feel? <laughs> wow. Okay, this is the emotional connection. What happened with his brother? Is he also a Bible player? Pretty sure that's correct. If hill sprints were the punishment for losing, I don't care that I know nothing about volleyball. I would... <laughs> I would <laughs> step up and annihilate. I'm not doing that. Ace is a person who 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 is a Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting moment from Suki. To me, I feel like that was both a request and a plea. Maybe part of the motivation for him asking that is 
looking for permission to kind of give up, but at the same time secretly hoping that he got a challenge. And that's what he ended up getting from Asahi, which to me is more satisfying. And probably to Asuki as well. It's like when you find yourself making excuses with someone, and on some level you're looking for someone to commiserate with, but it's actually kind of a relief when it doesn't work out that way, when people actually call you out to something better. <laughs> They're all going a little bit backwards in order to raise their ceilings. Maybe Tsuki's journey is a little bit more emotional. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe some individual focus is in order. Uh oh. He just read that telepathically. Through four of them. And just for a moment, they could feel it. Yeah, they're trying to find a really delicate balance. Throwing a lot around a little bit of that senpai weight. I feel refreshed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. We're all really starting to focus on this. I bet Suki will feel that as well, coming from them. Uh oh, not as meddling sense. Why do you have to be so mad? I think the key thing is he does want to play. What? I really want to know more about what it, what it is, what happened with his brother. Something scared the hell out of him. I'm not even judging. I mean, I actually feel like Suki is a more realistic representation and kind of a reminder of something I've been feeling about the characters for a while, which is that it's pretty unbelievable what they're trying to step into. I think the fact that they're all so united and amazing in what they're doing disguises that fact a little, a little bit. But Suki is very, very normal, very healthy. One of the most realistic in a sense, just because it's not easy to go that extra mile that they're trying to get to. Like I've been saying, it's a task of immense pain, destruction, sacrifice, fear. It's not something to be taken lightly. So without knowing the specifics of what's holding him back, I cannot hold it against him at all. But of course, therein lies the adventure for him and the satisfying character arc where he can overcome that fear and actually participate not only in a way that's useful to the team, but emotionally satisfying and rewarding to him because I feel like that's secretly what he wants. <laughs> <laughs>